Mm. 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 I don't want a beet salad. I want a beet salad really bad. I don't know why. I've just been craving beets. Welcome back to the I Hate Fat People show. And today, for our little guest, I have... That's right. A whale. Why a whale, you might ask? Well, when we talk about fat people, there's a certain thing that comes to mind that... Um, it's kind of like a stereotype, you know? And most people will find it offensive. And that stereotype is... I just love whales a lot. Like, they're cute, blue, and so are fat people. They're cute and blue. And I love them too. But in all seriousness, uh, welcome back. My name is Scout. Today we're going to be looking at- uh, And today we're going to be looking at Hungry Fat Chick. Now, before we get started, a quick little background. I don't know a lot about this individual but she has become kind of an icon on the internet. She has done collabs with Nikocado Avocado, she has made a name for herself, and she is slowly dying. Yes, you heard that right. She is, she is slowly dying and it is her fault, but is it? Now, I am about to dive into this pretty deep and I just wanna preface this by saying I don't know her personally, I don't know her life, but she does post about her life on the internet, so I am talking about whatever we get from her posts. And what we get, what we are getting lately is depressing. She is seems miserable, she seems like she hates her life, she's given up on herself, she's constantly going in and out of the hospital. She seems like she is on death's door and she will not stay with us for much longer. Which is very, very sad, and I am not going to make fun of that. That is a very hard thing. She seems to live alone. She doesn't seem to have a lot of friends or family to talk to, which I feel for her. I really do. But the question that I have is, is she manipulating us? Now, you might be wondering, <laughs> what does that mean, manipulating? She's just a sad old lady on the internet who overeats because she thinks that's the only way she can make ends meet. And to that I say, bah humbug, she knows what she's doing to an extent. Because on the one hand she plays the victim, she gets the views, and on the other hand it is very sad and depressing and she knows better and she can stop. And I want to figure out, is she really playing this act of a sad lonely life slowly dying or is this real is this like really as bad as she's making it seem without getting too much further into it let's hop right into the video hey y'all no uh long video going up today um in the hospital just an infection i should be home in a few days um but talk later <laughs> bye now, as you can see from this first video, we get a glimpse into what her life has become. Because of her eating, she makes a lot of mukbangs, she gets a lot of views for that, that's um, her main source of income basically. So she heavily relies on her YouTube revenue. And that is stressful, because YouTube is not an easy platform to gain a following on and make money from. So I applaud her for getting this far, but... She is suffering, obviously. She is in the hospital because of her weight exacerbating her health. And it's clear that her mental health is has also gone down the drain along with her physical health. And YouTube, her dependence on YouTube is the problem because she thinks that she can get more views with the more, you know, unhealthy, horrible for you mukbangs. It's just like Nikocado Avocado. It's like that situation. Everyone knows that situation. And if you don't, then you are two years old because everyone knows. It's just sad to me that she knows better. She knows this is killing her and she doesn't want to pull out all the way. And I have looked over a few of her latest videos and she does try to eat healthier when she's doing her mukbangs, which is a good thing. It is a good thing. Like doing anything about it is better than nothing, in my opinion. But is it enough? And to that, I would say, 
I don't exactly know what her health is like right now, but based on what I've seen, I do not think it's enough for her to keep going. Can y'all tell I'm, I'm not right right now? I'm just not, I mean, I don't know if it's it's the, the struggle to not order food or the struggle to <clears throat> put my grocery order off one more day. You know, I'm getting like toilet paper and you know, uh, Tums, cause I need Tums. Don't matter what the heck I eat, I need Tums. I get heartburn. Man, I feel for her heart. I really do. That's That's gotta be the strongest heart in the world. Like, you know, whales hearts, I'm pretty sure a person, like a car could fit inside of, but her heart, I think a bus could fit inside of. Like her whole inside is just her heart. So whenever she walks around, you can just see her pulsating. And it's really gross because maybe her stomach's inside her heart because her stomach her stomach and her heart, that's all she's made out of. I'm sorry. <laughs> but as you can see, she she always talks about like her struggles. This this video that I'm looking at is titled The Struggle Is Real. And she it's kind of like a vlog where she just talks about her life to her followers. And it's very sad. It's very sad to hear that she's struggling mentally. She even says, like, can you tell that I'm not alright? But the thing is, she does this in plenty of her videos already. She acts like she's miserable, and I'm sure she is. I'm sure she is. I know she is suffering, but it's constant. It's constantly, oh, poor me. I, this life sucks. I need help. I don't know how to help myself. I'm trying to help myself, but I keep failing. Oh, poor me. And I'm not trying to invalidate that she is struggling. I can tell she is, but... We are to the point now where she has to make a decision on whether or not she wants to save herself. Because it's been kind of a roller coaster. It's like Amberlynn Reid. It's there's just comes it just comes to a point where it's like, okay, man, you've gotta like either go for it or give up because I'm not gonna wait around for you to keep trying to decide and trying to help make us feel bad for you when you can't do it. Because you've been doing this for such a long time, you know how to fix it. You just won't. That is kind of where I am. So I have sympathy. I have empathy for her, but also get a grip on your life. You need to you need to change or you will die. Uh, I waste so much money, y'all. I waste so much money on dumb stuff that I could do myself. I don't know if it, it's just convenience, I guess. I'm always going for the easy route, you know. <clears throat> anyway, you guys. <sighs> yeah, I'm sorry. I don't have a mukbang today. Um, yeah. yeah. You probably don't spend your money on things you need. And that is very American of you, but... I have, if you've ever seen Sam at Every Size, she talks about her struggles with binge eating and how she spent like literal thousands of dollars on food a month per year. Just spent like so much money on takeout, on food, that it was ridiculous. And I can see that Candy, which is Hungry Fat Chick's real name, um, she is struggling financially and she talks about it a lot and what would help you know what would help is maybe saving that money that you're spending on takeout and you know saving it for something more important like your living my advice to you candy you really just need to make that decision. You need to be decisive. You can't rely on YouTube because if you do, if you rely on YouTube and your mukbang videos, you will die. If you decide to keep them, keep doing them, and keep eating massive amounts of food, it doesn't matter if you're eating healthy food. If you still overeat it, you're still gonna gain weight. Sure, it's healthier, but it's not. If you overeat healthy food, it's just as bad as overeating unhealthy food. It might just kill you slower, but it, not by much. So I, I really do 
wish the best for her. She seems like a very nice lady. I think the way that she goes, to, goes about running her channel is a bit manipulative because she wants to draw you in with the feel bad and- Oh, poor thing. I need to tell her that you don't need to eat for views. We'll be here for you no matter what. And that gets her attention, that gets her views, that gets her comments, that gets her money. So she knows it's working. And I hope that she uses the encouragement from her audience and takes it to heart because I don't want her to die. I want her to make the right decision, which is stop doing mukbangs, start a new life, and don't die. <laughs> I know that all of that is easier said than done, but she can do it. She's at the point, she's at a crossroads now where if she doesn't make the right decision, she will die. So I hope that she makes that decision sooner rather than later. I hope that you get the help that you need, Candy, both physically and mentally. And I decided I wanted to do a shorter video today because I will be gone from Wednesday through Friday of this week. So I wanted to give you guys a little parting gift. <laughs> Uh, just a little insight into Candy, hungry fat chick. I do think she's a bit of a manipulator. I don't think she's a bad person, but I do think she knows what she's doing. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Um, what do you think? Do you think that she's being manipulative or do you really think that everything she says is authentic and she's done nothing wrong? So yeah, please drink some water, eat today. Take your meds, do whatever you gotta do to be healthy, and peace.